decided to do hematology at that time the exam pattern was different i was also told that we should go through ash recipes and some images from that textbook in the lab part so i went to ash recipe also uh, but the rapid revision videos which were made available to us by the speed faculty uh, they were wonderful they were amazing like we could basically kind of give us a time slot that uh, you should be done with this and then the rapid revision video kind of serves as a revision for you so i bring in all the wishes and greetings and we have of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr pratibha singh for scoring a wonderful rank of aml rank number 9 cml rank number 9 in super speciality of dm clinical hematology uh, in any ss session november 2023 congratulations and best wishes thank you so much sir thanks a lot great great interacting with you today and uh, at a very yes. happy occasion of yours uh, can we know a detailed background history of where you started your career from till date uh yes sir so i did my mbbs from government medical college bhavnagar uh, i was 2011 batch then i did my dnb medicine from uh, rml institute which is in lucknow towards the end of uh, my post graduation i was pretty much uh, directed towards hematology and that was because one of our professors uh, because at the last some last minute issue she just sent two residents to attend a hematology quiz at hgpj which was happening and then that made us read more and then we also realized that we got very less cases but it was very intriguing and how treatable hematological malignancies and everything were so there was a lot of myth and air surrounding it and it's a human nature to be at something which is a mist drawn towards it uh, so i did to super specialize in the field of clinical hematology for one year i was working as a senior resident at aims rishikesh and i was also side by side uh, preparing for exams uh, previously i had given uh, i and exams but i qualified the theory but i was not able to qualify for the interview session uh, but this time i qualified for the interview session last time what was the rank doctor uh sir last time i was around uh, 15 or 16 in the cml i could not make it uh, to the aml this uh, last time okay very good now uh, can you tell us from rank number 15 of cml to rank number 9 and qualified in aims what was the journey what were you doing before that and after that uh so uh, during the process of actually preparing we realized uh, where uh, what were our shortcomings i think with every exam we become a bit wiser so i what i thought my problem was that i was not revising enough i kind of concentrated that okay i should know more rather i think it is about knowing what you already know knowing it in a better way so i would like to say that revision and going through the things and uh, for that uh, also another in a lot of people's uh, direction was that the neat exam was just like one month before the ini exam so a uh, medicine part was kind of covered and we just had to go through a, a specialty for that and uh, i think the last time also and this time also the rapid revision videos which were made available to us by the speed faculty uh, they were wonderful they were amazing like we could basically kind of give us a time slot that uh, you should be done with this and then the rapid revision video kind of serves as a revision for you so that you know that okay this is what you have done and this part is clear so that really worked towards this thing so yeah that really worked in my favor i would say great now what about the enss content of of the preparation of hematology uh so i would like to go back a little like in 2021 when i decided to do hematology at that time the exam pattern was different so dr karthik was taking he was taking the classes at that time and uh, his videos they were really detailed and he he brought a very fresh perspective towards approach on hematology especially his lab thing so i had my notes from that time then madhupriya ma'am was there so the hematology content uh, was it consisted of him harrison as well and the added updates which were there which are actually necessary for an exam uh, they were also there so it kind of consolidated hematology for me in a very good way i was also told that we should go through ash recipes and some images from that textbook in the lab part so i went to ash recipe also uh, but mostly my bulk of preparation was uh, confined to the notes i would say great how many questions were able to attend up i attempted around 79 questions great now what is the message that you want to give the for the students or aspirants for preparing for dm clinical hematology so since hematology itself has a crunch of seats and 
I think not a lot of people right now are aiming, but the number has definitely increased. I would say that being persistent at it kind of works and every exam will give you a teaching lesson and you have to pick on that and try to get better with it. That is what I would say. And also we should avoid getting burnt out in the process and stay in touch with our friends. And especially if we have some non-medical friends, then it is better to stay in touch with them because they give us a wider perspective of other things as well. So yeah, I would like to say that we should go approach exams with a very holistic approach and uh, the studies and the rest is also equally important. Great. Now, time to thank whom all you want to thank. They help you uh, so, grow your career till date. First of all, so my parents for uh, basically they thought that after medicine, you should, you are adept enough as a physician and it is not required to just go for a one run. So they were strong. They were, they gave me their support to go ahead with this idea uh, that then my colleagues and my friends, then definitely speed faculty, which was there. The especially the exam date, we could extend our subscriptions with the <laughs> exam date without getting worried about it getting expired. So that also. So yeah, I think all of these people played a really big role in me achieving this rank. Great. If you want to call hematologist a single word, what do you call? For you, what, what, a... what hematology means to you? Sir, I think it's a lot of adrenaline for me because it is not just diagnostic. It is a lot of critical care also because you're basically shooting down the entire system of a patient and then you have to start from the scratch. So there is no scope of going wrong. So you have to be quick with your decisions and you have to be most of the time correct with them. So that's kind of a thing that it is something which gives me an adrenaline rush, something like that. Okay, great. Wonderful and uh, great interacting with you. We once again wish you all the best for a great career uh, in clinical hematology. As a hematologist, you are going to do on this and you're going to benefit a lot of people who are going to come to you. Once again, wish you all the best. Thank, all you. The Thank you so much. Sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Nice talking to you. Nice talking.